What is going on troublemakers? Welcome to the video. Um, I've had a couple people recently ask me um, what my streaming setup, well, my live stream settings are. Now, I'm currently looking at my camera because it's on top of my uh, it's on top of my monitor that my Xbox One's currently plugged into and my PlayStation 4 gets plugged into. But what you're seeing right now is what everybody on the live stream would normally see. This is the quality that my live stream would normally see. Uh, maybe a little less than this because I've got the settings turned up slightly higher for um, local recording. But it's very close, I will say that much. This is what I see. I mean, this is what you guys see anyway. Now, we are going to switch to the scene of what I see. Now, it is a mess. And I only have the one monitor, so I apologize to anybody who is um, a tidy freak, so to say, um, who likes things nice and neat. I am personally one of those, but <laughs> I can't do anything about it right now because I've only got the two monitors. I've only got a two monitor set up, which is my P my PC monitor, which is over here to my left, and then I've got my gaming monitor set over on the right. Um, I do use my gaming monitor as a second PC monitor as well, but I am looking to invest into a third monitor. Anyway, we're going to get into my OBS settings because I've had a couple of people ask me what do I stream at um, and what my setup is generally like. I will be doing a setup video, but I'm about to move yet again, which is annoying. I've just moved into this property uh, with my auntie and then my auntie decided to be like, oh shit, well I'm moving now, you gotta move too. So I'm moving back at my, my, with my mum, hopefully. Um, which is across the road from where I used to live, so I'll have better internet as well. Anyway, we're gonna get right into it. This is what you guys see. Now this is a mess, right? I've got DeepBot here. I've got my live feed chat from Muxy. I would recommend anybody to use Muxy if you're going to be live streaming. It's amazing. Uh, I swear by it, to be fair. And then in this gap here, I normally have my YouTube chat, like so. Oh, you're watching me see Core Carnage there. Um, I'll show you now. YouTube. I should have had this open, to be fair, but I'm not streaming, so I'm not streaming until another hour and a half. So I would normally stream to. Oh, come on. My computer loves being slow. Oh, I've gained another subscriber. Sweet. Sweet. Um, under here, I would have... Obviously, I've got my Twitch chat. I've got my live feed. I've also got hidden my uh, ticker. This is hidden away up here. And then I would have chat popped out here. Come on. Chat popped out here and minimized to that width and bon appetit done you know i stream to youtube and twitch because my settings are a little high um for some people on twitch so i say if they really want to watch then just hop over to youtube gaming and watch me there you know i've got no issues with that and it also is easier for me to break down episodes when I stream to Twitch, because at the moment I'm doing a playthrough of Halo, which I do need to redo because one part of my um, one part of my episode corrupt as I was going through the game, so it's a little annoying. Either way, that's not what you came here to see. You didn't come here to see oh this big ass screen here. Nope, you didn't. You came here to see what my settings are. Now we've got ourselves a bit of a inception here. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's make this slightly bigger, but not too big. Right, so, first of all, we'll go into our settings. I prefer, I personally prefer the dark theme. It looks better, it's easier on the eyes, and I have my cursor hidden over pro projectors and stuff like that. It's, it's just easier easier than that. I currently restream, I stream to restream.io. I will fetch out another video on that, if anybody is interested. I stream from here to re, uh, restream and then they split the stream from there to YouTube and to Twitch. It's amazing. I would recommend anybody to use it if you want to stream to multiple services but you don't have the best internet. The only reason I'm using restream on the um, on OBS is because it doesn't have a multi-stream functionality. Otherwise I would use that. I mean if you're using an XSplit 
then that's a totally different ball game. I mean, if you use an X Split, I'm going to assume you're running a license and you can live stream to as many different places as you want with uh, X Split. That's perfectly fine. Anyway, you all understand how this part should work. You get your stream key, you select where it is you want to stream to, and whatnot. That's not what you're here for right now. You're here for my settings. Now, unfortunately, I can't change any of these settings right now because I'm live streaming. I mean, I'm not live streaming, um, I'm capturing footage for you guys. But I currently use what you are seeing right here right now. I use Encoder NVEC, which is my graphics card, because my CPU isn't the best. It's only an i5-3570K. It's, it's not a bad CPU, but it's also not the best CPU. Now, I'm, I stream at a custom bitrate. I would recommend that for anyone, and I stream at 32. Now, there is a calculator that you can get um, on, uh, is it, I think it's on the OBS website for your upload. Now I have a 6 upload uh, currently where I am living and I currently stream over wireless which is a little annoying because I'm used to streaming over wired so every now and again I do have a drop frame but I don't tend to see that as much with streaming from my graphics card because my graphic card does all the uh, all the image processing and then it sends it off whereas it's just just easier that way for me to be fair than having my CPU uh, encode it all and have issues and send it all off and whatnot. Um, I stream with the general two keyframe interval just because it's what Twitch recommends. I did at one point have this at zero and I did notice uh, a couple of issues with um, skipping frames and other bits like that. The Blu-ray preset, I've been through all of these and I don't see any difference and like the one that I saw the most difference from was Blu-ray. Now high performance um, is obviously you're going to lose a bit of quality there. High quality, there was no difference between high quality and Blu-ray except when there was a lot of um, motion going on. I noticed that Blu-ray was keeping up a little better. So I've stuck on Blu-ray. My profile is main. My level is auto. <clears throat> and I've not bothered tweaking with the GPU settings. And I've just left use 2-pass encoding on. Now I'm sorry if you can hear the squeaky chair. That's, that's not planned. I do plan on getting a new one. <laughs> anyway, in my audio I have... Uh, I have it set to 48 kilohertz just because that most of my equipment that's here my headset um, my microphone with my mixer and other bits they, they just they just run off 48 a lot easier I do now have a mixer and yeah now these turtle beach this turtle beach headset that you're currently seeing right here this will be being replaced very shortly because I do have a mixer which you can see here which is the line in um, the line in here will also be um, the desktop audio will be um, trying to figure out what it would be. Can't think. Top of my head, got, mine's gone blank. Anyway, that'll be from my mixer as well. So when that's sorted, <coughs> which will probably come out of these here speakers, real yeah, because that's what my uh, yeah it'll come out of these, but it'll be going into my mixer and blah blah blah. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I've lost, I've lost train of thought now because of that. That's really confused me. Anyway, no, back into it. I stream at 720p, 60fps, and I have my base canvas at 1920x1080. It just gives that little bit of a more of a crisp, and then downscale it from there. Um, it's a lot easier on your GPU as well. Don't ever stream uh, GPU or CPU to be fair. Don't ever stream at. Um, don't ever leave the output scale at the resolution you want to stream at. It's it's very restraining on your computer. It's easier for a computer to downscale than it is to try and push out what it's currently streaming at. So if you're streaming at 720p, uh, let's say your internet's not that good, so you stream at 720p, downscale that to 480p, and whoever streams in down. If you're gonna downscale to 480p, I would recommend not streaming in general. Most of the day, most of these days, the community is streaming at 720p. 
But I mean, if you're entertaining and you can you can get away with it, then go for it. I mean, each to your own. Um, but I would recommend always downscaling by at least 1.5, which is what this downscale is right now from seven uh, from 1080 to 720. I don't have any. Um, I've got my hotkeys set up, um, a couple hotkeys anyway. Uh, but other than that, I don't really have anything else really set. Uh, I have my process priority above normal because I want my stream to to have more priority in my computer than anything else. But, um, the only other thing that's got high priority as well is my bot because when there's music playing in my live stream sometimes the music can get a little choppy although I have noticed now that I'm streaming with my GPU I don't have to do that anymore. Um, when I was streaming from my CPU I would notice my audio for my um, for deep bot would get really laggy and it would uh, it'd become an issue so I don't have to face that issue anymore other than that I don't think there's really anything else I really need to cover I mean I can go in another video I can go into details of how I've got my scenes set up so you can see like all this stuff here I mean I've got it set up so uh, let me try and re-trigger this, uh, this alert here <laughs> that's, that's my alert and right now I don't know if you heard the alert for that but the thing is is that went off the way that it did because I triggered it manually but I will say this stream I've, there's so much that I'm probably going to end up changing about the stream over the next couple months and whatnot I mean I've just got my mixer I've got a new microphone which is the Audio Technica AT2020 uh, any microphone works but in general that's that's my general streaming setup and I hope that get, this helps any of you that are watching my stream and like, oh, what, what quality are you streaming at? Um, it's, it's really nice and clear. I've had a, a lot of people say that to me and it's it feels good to, to say, yes, this is what I've done. This is my settings. I mean, it took, a, it took me a while to get my settings the way that I wanted them, but this is the way that I want them. So for anybody who is streaming from NVIDIA settings, these are what I'm using. Bear in mind, bear in mind that these will not always work for you. But if you want to give them a shot and try, tweak with the uh, tweak with the bit rate, tweak with the frames per second. I know a lot of streams that are in 30 FPS that are really nice and crisp and clear. Also, another little thing that you can do is if you um, let me uh, let me just show you a moment here. Let me just move this down here. If you are streaming from a capture card uh, like myself you can right click on the frames here right click on this here and you can add a filter and add a little bit of um, sharpen now I have this on my main one but you can't really see it I normally have this at a, um, a 0.1 sharpen it just gives that uh, it just gives the scene a little bit more crisp to it and it works really nicely for capture cards especially for uh, older capture cards like the the older hot pogs and stuff like that that um, it tries to smoothen the image rather than sharpen it so I'd recommend that for anyone I currently use an Elgato myself I swear by those as well but yeah that, that this is my settings guys if you if you enjoyed the video then leave a thumbs up it supports me greatly and pop, hit that subscribe button I'll be fetching out uh, let a live stream playthroughs and stuff like that because I just tend to do my playthroughs on on Twitch nowadays and then I split the the streams up into little segments. So if this helped you and your stream is running perfectly fine and smooth and looks good, then by all means give this video a thumbs up. I love all your faces and I will see you guys over on twitch.tv forward slash shamu hd. Peace.